Hey, it's Joel. Welcome to 3D Printing Nerd Studios, probably powered, of course, by PCBWay. 8% off with the code in the description. Go get it. It's free money. Thank you for joining me in the workshop. And I have this really cool, absolutely free thing to show you. It's cool that it's free. I love this. It's called Bento3D.Design. And I saw it on Twitter a while ago. I don't remember who said it, but it's a free tool for you to design an organizational thing and it automatically creates the box that goes around it. Well, let me show you. It starts off with this little interface right here and you can define a depth, a width, and a height. And just as an example, because I wanna give it to you in a, in a project sense, right? You could use this to design whatever, but really it's better to approach this when you have a problem in mind to solve. These are Taco Bell fire sauce packets. I've got one, two, three of them, and they're squishy, and they're awesome. I love the fire sauce at Taco Bell. Hashtag not sponsored, but Taco Bell, hit me up, would you please? I am serious. Every time you go to the Taco Bell restaurant, you're usually given more sauce packets than you need. It's either that or they forget to put them in the bag. Either way, this project is gonna be cool because I'm taking these squishy little sauce packets and I'm gonna make an organizational thing to keep them in showcasing this free website and free 3D models that you can also use. First up, what I'm gonna do is take some measurements and I'm gonna put them side by side by side and I'm gonna get my calipers and I'm gonna measure how big the box needs to be on this side and how big and how big the box needs to be on this side. So on this side, we'll call it 140, 140 millimeters. I think that works out really well. And right here, we're gonna call it, you know what, I bet we could get away with 85. So we know we want 85 deep and 140 wide. So if we go here, we'll start with the width down below and we will go to 140. You hold down the left mouse button and you drag it. This also works on mobile devices as well, which I think is fascinating. Now for depth, I said 85. So let's do that. We're gonna get this up and we're gonna go to 85. I wanna take into account that I might have more than just one, two, three Taco Bell sauce packets. I might have many. I don't think 30 millimeters is too bad. That way we can kind of stack them or we can keep mild, hot, and fire in their own little category. I think that's fascinating. So 30, we're gonna go height over here and we're gonna adjust it to 30 millimeters. You're almost there. <laughs> You're almost there. Next, what you wanna do is click the grid button up above. See, it's got size, it's got grid, and then it's got download. So go to grid, and there we go. You can see that the 140 and the 85 are reduced by four on either side. And so what you're giving is the total size of the box that everything goes in. So if you want to measure something and you want it to be super precise, just add four to it when you're using the interface. And this is where it gets fascinating. You've got a button on the right and a button on the bottom. The button on the right defines columns. So you can hit this button and just add as many columns as you want. And then each column has a button on the bottom and that denotes adding spacers within the column. So if you want a column that looks something like this, you've got, you've got plenty of spacers, you can define everything. Look at that, you've just made an incredible box full of holes that you can fill with things. But we have a specific project in mind. And so, unfortunately, there's no easy way to reset, but if you select the trash icon on each one, that gets you going. So I'm just gonna do that. With this, we just need three columns. Now, if I wanted to make this you know, double-decker in a certain ways, we could add more things, but I want three equally spaced columns. That's it, that's it. We, we, just, we just use this free tool to make this really easy box because from here you go to download. And look at that, look at that. That's what it looks like right there. You can see that you have the internal box, and then you have the external box, and the external box has a lid, and it has a latch, and I'm 
it's really cool to see how this all works and then you're able to download each of the STL models. See, it says download STLs. So I, I, I did, I downloaded these and I printed these out. So this one was printed in orange Prusament PLA and I printed it on my Prusa XL. And it turned out fabulous. Like, I love it. I love it. And sure enough, ready? <laughs> it's perfect. Awesome. And then there's plenty of room to stack other sauce packets on top. Uh, you could be done at this point because you've created yourself a really cool organizational thing and it took no time at all, but I'm not done yet. Like, okay, you could be done. You could be like, mm, I'm going to, I'm going to create silverware dividers for a drawer in my kitchen. I'm going to create um, things to keep my buttons safe. I'm going to create tiny little screw and nut containers. Uh, you could, you could do that. And that's where I think this free tool really excels is being able to create these sorts of things just fantastically fast. But remember, it offers the external case to keep it safe. And so what I did is I printed those parts on a Prusa Mark IV and I printed them in Prusament Galaxy Black. And I think they look really, really good. There's that part, there's the lid right here, and then there is a clasp. There is hardware that is suggested for this to go together. It's an M2 screw on either side and then some M2 pins of a certain size. This slides in. So nice. It's so nice. This goes on top. And then this clasp would attach right here. The screws would go in either side on the hinge and then right here you would put the pin in the clasp and then the pin would go in here for it to kind of clasp around. And I don't have this hardware so I just wanted to make sure I showed you this cool little box that, oh wait, oh did you need some fire sauce? Oh, here you go. There are certain things to take into consideration when printing the things that this tool provides and actually let's, let's go over that because some of it, some of it's a bit much. It goes over how to use it in the docs, which is fantastic. And it shows you proper print orientation. Now on the lid, I printed with the bottom of the lid, the, the side that's gonna be facing all the sauce packets. I printed that down with a little bit of support because the hinge pieces for the lid are on the back and they point down just a little bit. And so they suggest printing it uh, this way with the hinges there and then some supports to support it like that and then going straight up and that's going to give you the best surface finish all around. This one uh, printing with the supports on this side that I don't see. It, it, it worked fine on the Prusa Mark IV and that Prusa Mint Galaxy Black. It is a little bit rough but again it's facing the sauce packets so I really don't care. But if you want the best surface finish possible, follow the proper print orientation guidelines that they put in the docs. Maybe it's not in here. I had to do a repair of the model. So the, the outer box here, Prusa Slicer showed problems with the geometry. And so I used Prusa Slicer on Windows to repair that. Uh, I don't know if the repair is within the Mac version. I'm not sure. But you can also use NetFab Services, uh, Mesh Mixer. There are other ways of repairing geometry. Just be aware that the box will print as a solid object unless it's repaired. Well, there you go. That is a free tool absolutely free for you to design these organizational boxes that you can print to your heart's content. You can make them, I think it's up to 250 millimeters deep, 200 millimeters wide and 250 tall is what I think it was. The, the bounds I'm hoping they can increase. I thought about shooting off an email to the website designer because it'd be really great to make these XL sized or giga sized. I, I don't know. I, I think that's, that's kind of fun as far as organizational things go, having just a big box to store stuff in. I mean, you could store marbles, golf balls. I mean, if giga-sized basketballs. The, the future is wonderful. So anyway, free tool for you. Link, of course, down in the description. And if you do make something with this and you post it online, please tag me. I'd love to see it. Well, thanks for making this far. If you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, and print all the practical things. And as always, high five. <laughs>